Buddhism, one of the world's great religions, arose in India. Its founder was Siddhartha Gautama. He became known as the Buddha, or the Enlightened One. Born in about 563 BC in northern India, Siddhartha Gautama was the son of a wealthy prince of the region. During his youth, he received every advantage of luxury, education, and comfort. His royal lifestyle shielded him from the harsh realities of everyday life. He knew nothing, for example, of disease, poverty, fear, or other aspects of life among ordinary people. At the age of 29, Siddhartha Gautama ventured out of his palace and was shocked to learn of the challenges and tragedies common to everyday life. He vowed to discover the reasons for human suffering. In what is now called the Great Renunciation, he left his family and his lifestyle in search of truth and meaning. He tried many methods to discover wisdom, practicing yoga and meditation, and fasting so strictly that he nearly died. None of these approaches, however, gave Siddhartha Gautama the answers that he sought. One day, after six years of searching, Siddhartha Gautama sat meditating under a tree. Suddenly, he felt that he understood the truth that forms the basis of life. In that moment, according to his followers, Siddhartha Gautama became the Buddha. He spent, spent the remainder of his life teaching his followers to pursue the way to enlightenment, the way of life. The Buddha accepted some Hindu ideas, including reincarnation. He believed that the progress of the soul depends on the life of a person leads. Good is rewarded and evil punished. However, he taught that salvation comes from knowing the Four Noble Truths and following the Eightfold Path. The Buddha taught ethics, a code of morals and conduct, more than ceremonies. He believed that desire causes suffering. As a result, he stressed the importance of selflessness. The Buddha did not accept the Hindu gods, but rather taught that priests should live peaceful and moral lives of poverty. He did not attack the Hindu caste system openly, but denied its importance. According to Buddhism, any person, regardless of caste, could reach nirvana. This gave Buddhism a broad appeal. Powerful Brahmins opposed these teachings. The B Buddha taught that the Vedas, the great works of Hindu religious literature, were not actually sacred writings. He believed that virtue could not be inherited and that all people should practice virtuous conduct, nonviolence, and poverty. The Buddha gained only a few followers in his lifetime. Over, central, over several centuries, however, his teachings won wide acceptance in Asia. As contacts increased between India and Central Asia, Buddhism developed and spread. In India, it began to gain more followers, but it was strongly opposed by the Brahmins. Over time, Buddhism declined in India. It was in other parts of Asia that Buddhism reached its greatest strength.